So today I'm going to show you how to use Mechabricks stuff in Blender. So first of all you have to open up Blender. And to open up Blender you have to have Blender, so I would recommend downloading it before you, you watch this video. Next you're going to want to go up to this file, File Zone. You're going to want to go Import, and you want Mechabricks.zmbx. And this will take you to your files, all of them. You want to go find a Mechabricks folder with all of your Mechabricks stuff in it that you've exported as a Blender add-on. .zmbx and you choose it and you import and then it should show up like that. Yeah. So now that you've got your figure, you're going to want to get rid of this little dot right there in the middle, right down there. This little orange dot. It's called the empty. You don't want it. You're going to want to get rid of the empty. That's the first thing you do. And now you're all set. Now there are a couple other things you need to do before you can actually rig this guy. Number one is you have to have the uh, Epic Rig Fig installed. And once you have it installed into Blender, this little window here will pop up. But to get to it, you have to use this little, this little twiggy. So, yeah. Now to rig this, shift select all of the normal pieces. So the head, the torso, arms, hands, hip, and legs, and then click Rig Selected Minifigure, boom, he's rigged. So that is what the rig should look like. We've got these nice, all of the bones, you can see all of the indicators that you click on. Uh, so now, to get this, the hair on, you simply select the hair and the head, and you go accessory snapping head. Oh, now I mean, yeah, we didn't want that. We'll just do that. We'll also go that. Okay. Oh. So this. This, this, there you go. Now it, it should stay connected to the head when you're rigging your minifig. Now you go select your rig. You go pose mode. Now pose mode won't show up if you don't select the rig first, so always select the rig before you enter pose mode. And here we go. Now this is the part where you can check for any problems in your rig before you start animating. So you're going to want to check to make sure all of the bones work the way they're supposed to. So the arms work. And to activate a bone, you press, you select the bone with your cursor and then you press G to move it. So yeah. So now we're just gonna make sure he moves all correctly. Yep. It's all good. That's all good. Oh, see there we go. His hair came off. Now if you run into this, there's a really simple fix. You just just simply go back object mode, you select this, you select this, you go P, no, control P, you parent the hair to the bone. Now it should, in theory, work in pose mode, theoretically. There we go. So that should solve that problem. 
And if there are any bone, if there are any things that like pop off when you move a different bone, that just means you're gonna have to parent all the bones back onto the thingy, yeah, the, the body part. Anyway, now you guys are probably wondering why this minifigure has no face. Now he is supposed to have a face, but in order to get his face, you need to do something over here in this tab here. You need to go and set the render engine to cycles. And then when you click viewport shading rendered, you will get him like that. Now he looks dark because I don't have a light in this area right now. So yes, that's that's what he looks like. And then, yep, that's all good. We are all set. So, now, what you're going to want to do before you go any further is when you go out, you're going to notice since these things are so huge that you're going to want to adjust the clipping. So you want to adjust the clip length. So you're also going to want to go down here. Anyway, you want the clip ending to be much longer than just a thousand meters. You want it to be like at least a hundred thousand. Anyway, you also w should want to um, look. So when you zoom out with the camera, you're going to notice that he disappears pretty quickly. That is because we also need to adjust the clipping on the camera. So yeah, we will find that in just a moment. So right here, it's only at 100 meters, we want 100,000 meters. There we go, it's fixed, and your camera will no longer clip the minifig. So that covers most of the basic things you need to know about this. Now I am going to go over how to actually animate him for a sec. So. This little tab down here is your nice, lovely time, uh, it's, it's the timeline, yeah. So you can adjust how many frames you want in this animation. You, now you look at your minifig and you go into pose mode. So pose mode, and then we're going to press I to insert a keyframe. You're going to want to use whole character. And then you will adjust the timeline where you want your next keyframe to be. So let's say we want him to raise his arm on frame 20. Now we select the arm bone. We to G. We move to what we move it to where we want, and then we press down again. Now his arm has moved, and then we go I. Whole character. And now when you hit the play button, that's what happens. That's it, that's all. And with this basic information, you can essentially do any movement with the character. If you know what all of these different bones do. Um, to find out that, I'm not going to go over that in this 
tutorial at all, I would recommend watching a uh, an epic fig rig tutorial to get that information about which bone does what. Because um, even I still need to watch them. So, yeah. That's essentially the basics of what you need to know if you're going to be animating with Mecha Bricks and Blender. But yeah, it is a pretty easy way to use LEGO animation on the computer. And now I'm just going to give you guys a quick look at um, a scene from the, uh, from the movie that's coming soon. So yeah. So here you go. This is a uh, this is gonna be in the next in the new movie, right here. This lovely snowy mountain with these two characters. It is coming. It is coming. It's lovely, but it's coming. And I'll even give you guys like a rendered view. Here we go. We're gonna go like that. We're gonna go rendered. It's loaded. There, that's what it's going to look like. So there you have it. Alright, thanks for watching this small tutorial of Mecha Brick and Blender animation on the computer. I hope whoever watched it. Um, and yeah. This is the first time I've ever done a tutorial, so uh, I, hope to, I hope I did a, an okay job. Um, I'm not even using the proper screen recording stuff. Anyway, thanks, and well, maybe sometime we'll see one of your animations.